Hey everyone, this is Kelvin from BlackSunComics.com and welcome to another Daz Studio Quick Tip. Today I'm going to talk about copying the active view. Now this is in regards to cameras and if you're not all in the Daz Studio ecosystem, that phrase might not make sense to you, but rest assured by the end of this video, it sure will. I can't take credit for this tip. It actually comes from Simon Carriage. Shout out to you, Simon Carriage. Uh, he left this in a comment about my other video that I did in regards to creating multiple cameras in Daz Studio to get more mileage out of your scenes. So this tip comes from him and I'll just uh, describe it briefly. I didn't know about this. So once again, thanks for leaving it in the comments. And this is one of the other great things that I like about doing this channel because I'm sharing knowledge with you, but then a lot of you are sharing knowledge with me too. So let's keep sharing. So here's an example. Here's my scene in Daz Studio. And right now you'll notice I am in perspective view, which is the default view. And you know, I'm gonna frame my shot. So I'm just gonna come over to the gizmo here and I'm experimenting. I'll zoom in a bit and maybe move the camera down. And Let's see here. Maybe I'll pose her a bit. Okay, cool. Now let's say for argument's sake, this is the, this is the shot that I want right there. That's what I want. Um, but now I'm in perspective view and let's say I want to create a camera. Now, normally if I go and I create a camera, Let's go to the cameras tab and I've already created one, but let's create a new one just to show you what happens normally. So if I create a camera, I'll just leave it camera one and leave everything as the default and hit accept and then come over here and go to camera one. I have to compose that shot all over again and maybe I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to my perspective view. And just to clean things up, I'm going to delete camera one. So I'm just going to the scene tab and I'm going to delete that camera. Now let's say I want a camera that's going to copy this exact scene. So what you do is go to the, your cameras tab, select a new item from the editor. Make sure you're not in presets. Make sure you're in the editor tab. So cameras, editor, select an item. There's the camera that I already created. We're going to, whoops. We're going to add a camera and I'll just call this, well, I'll leave it at camera one again. Now, instead of apply default settings, what you want to do is copy active view, which in this case is the perspective view. Hence the title for this video, copy active view. So I click that and then I hit accept. Nothing spectacular happens, but now when I go over to here, camera one copies the view that I just did. So if you spend a lot of time in perspective view composing your shot, you don't want to lose that when you create a new camera by, by using the default settings. Instead, copy active view and then you, you keep the same shot. So there's a little quick tip. Once again, thanks Simon for leaving that comment. If you haven't already, please visit blacksuncomics.com where you can download a free preview of my graphic novel, Black Sun The Longest Night. It was illustrated completely using Daz Studio and Photoshop. If you like the information, please click like and subscribe. Be sure to check out some of the other tutorial videos on this channel. And until next time, take care.